you have been associated with uh, many of the studies and projects, uh, project reports where you have uh, f done a capability assessment and recommended uh, a lot of projects uh, for the services to be taken up. Uh, uh, fifth generation fighter was one of those when you did a, a, a assessment report for the Indian Air Force. Uh, can you tell us about the status of the AMCO program because uh, you have been associated with it, sir, and um, I think it would be one of the biggest uh, Make in India programs that we would be seeing in future. And what are, uh, what are the other major programs that we can see in next, say, two to three years, which would be coming uh, to the industry? Okay, so uh, uh, taking off from where uh, 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 M. Arshal Dikshit left, uh, uh, the AMCA is a fifth generation uh, fighter program, actually. There could be a requirement for some stopgap arrangements uh, among the op options that you mentioned, those options are not ruled out, but as of now, we are not in a position to reveal which way we will exercise those options. AMCA, the response is very, very robust. HAL is there, of course. I think he, they also have a consortium with some private uh, vendors. Uh, many of our leading Indian companies, including uh, LNT, are there. The best part about those that robust response is that many of them are a combination of public and private uh, uh, sector companies. And I've always maintained that India has to create this dual, this hybrid pipeline of public and private sector capacity, combining uh, some of the incumbency advantages and uh, you know the sunk capital and engineering manpower that uh, the PSUs have with some of the efficiencies that the, uh, the private sector brings in. And that process you will see emerge out of some of these programs that I mentioned. AMCA is one. The male uh, uh, category drones is another. Even some of our small arms uh, orders that are currently underway, in many of them you will see a mix of public and private companies getting orders as L1 and L2. So that is the kind of uh, uh, landscape that I want to see, where uh, you have uh, uh, contracts spread out across the industry to a mix of public and private companies competing with each other, sometimes collaborating with each other, and ensuring that our delivery milestones are uh, met much better than they are being met right 